this issue of the shutdown, the Senate will vote on two possible measures to reopen the government tomorrow. One is the president's plan. The other, it contains what the Democrats have said they want. So will anyone blink? Time now for tonight's power panel. Democratic strategist Dave Brown, Fox News contributors Mark Thiessen and Katie Pavlich. Great to have all of you with us tonight. Thank you, Shannon. Okay, we're going to get into a whole bunch of new Fox News polls that came out today, but one of them, Katie, was 56% um, of people think the president should go ahead and have some kind of State of the Union. How does this end? Well, <laughs> because the State of the Union doesn't belong to Nancy Pelosi or President Trump. It belongs to the American people. And I think Nancy Pelosi, is. it's good that she actually made the decision and stepped up to the plate to actually disinvite the president rather than kind of sitting around and seeing what he was going to do. Do, but it is a petty move, uh, and I think it actually shows that she doesn't have much leverage when it comes to policy because she has to go to this tactic instead of actually negotiating uh, behind the scenes or in front of the American people. Uh, this is something that Nancy Pelosi invited the president to do to give the State of the Union on January 3rd, which was weeks into the shutdown and a week before federal workers missed their first paycheck. So to say it's about the shutdown doesn't really add up with the facts, and I will remind everybody. Nancy Pelosi is the one who didn't want any of this to be out in front of the American people. The first meeting she had with President Trump, she freaked out when he brought in all the cameras to look at how the sausage, sausage was being made, to talk about the, you know, what was going on to negotiate in public. She shut that, that down, and she's also shutting down transparency when it comes to the president talking to the American people. But luckily, he has other outlets. Well, Dave, I mean, how do you think this goes? Because she had said in the initial letter now just a couple weeks ago saying we're worried about security, um, and she talked about or her staff talked about a furloughed DHS employee telling her they were worried there wouldn't be enough security. Um, those agencies said no one contacted them, and they said it would be fine, DHS and the Secret Service. So now it sounds like the president has called her bluff by saying, I'm coming, and she's saying no thanks. Well, I'd like to know what the 800,000 federal workers and their families think, whether they think the president should deliver the State of the Union while they're about to, to miss their second paycheck. If it offered uh, a solution of some kind? Well, uh, come on, Shannon. How many times does the House have? On the how table. many times does the House have to pass the same spending bills? And by the way, the, you, you mentioned two bills that the Senate's about to consider: one, the President's proposal, and the second, the, the Democrats' proposal. That proposal, the Senate, controlled by Republicans, passed with unanimous consent as recently as December. So I, I just wish we could all just cut through the political. You're Nonsense. searching. You don't want to say a bad I'm, I'm, word. I'm doing TV. my very best. I didn't want to get you in trouble on the show. We all know the initials I, BS. I've got a really, I have a really easy way to solve it. And by the way, by the way, he's not yeah. disinvited. Yeah. He's not disinvited. And the president. Right, it's delayed. House. It's delayed. Just that's like right. her, her Codell right. trip overseas is delayed. Exactly. Same so thing. here's my proposal. I'm, I want to, let's make some news. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's pass a CR. Through February 8th, no. let's negotiate. Maybe they'll do that let's tomorrow. Let's negotiate the an vote. immigration yeah. bill, an actual no. comprehensive immigration bill. No, that's not let's what this is about. actually okay. negotiate nope. and let the president. All right, make let's bring Mark in here. Yeah. Okay, um, we'll see if anybody bites on that, Dave. He's maybe <laughs> I'm, I'm solved. Like, he solved all the trouble. Uh, okay, so Fox News poll: Who's most responsible? The president is taking the most blame. 51 sure. percent. Democrats in Congress take another 34 percent. They're in second place. Um, he seems though pretty dug in. Like he's just not too worried about that. Well, because it's going to those numbers are going to change, and that's. That's why Nancy Pelosi doesn't want him to give a State of the Union address, because she knows uh, from experience, because she's been Speaker before, how powerful a State of the Union address can be. She knows that in his first two State of the Union address, uh, 48 million and 46 million people tuned in, and gave, the State of the Union gives the President an unfiltered channel directly to the American people to make his case. And what he would do is he would stand up there and he would say, I have offered compromise. I have said, that I've, I've compromised on what, the, whether it's a wall or a barrier, I've compromised on the the number of miles, I'm compromising on the amount of money, I'm compromising, and I'm even giving in uh, sweeteners on immigration to the, to the that the Democrats have been asking for, and they won't even negotiate with me. Madam Speaker, turn to her. Madam Speaker, will you sit down with she's me and negotiate? That. She doesn't want that to happen. Oh, so what this is, this is a move out of weakness, because she knows how powerful this is, and so she wants to take the platform away from the president so they can continue to obfuscate and obstruct and not participate and not compromise. And again, they don't want to have this debate. They yeah. don't want to have the debate about what their solution is to yeah. thousands of people well, but, again coming to the branch of government. Talk about right. The president is not entitled to give this. Right this now, is a co equal branch of America government. America is Speaker blaming him. Ever done I mean, this right. well, in the history he of the Republic. No, it wasn't, he did say, I will own the right. shutdown. He did say, I will own um, it. Okay, so a couple of other. I want to make sure to get a couple of other polls here. The president, his job approval, his job performance rating for 43% approve, 54 disapprove. 54% disapprove. But if you think that's bad, let's go down and look at Congress's 18% approval rating, 67% disapproval rating. Reaction? 
I, those are not numbers that I would want to uh, own on either side. I, I mean, the number that jumped out to me, we were talking about this a little bit before, the economic opti optimism numbers is one that, that really leapt off the page yeah. for me. For, for and, and I'll just make the, the hopefully fair analysis here, which is um, he's, he's losing support among uh, folks who traditionally are part of his, his core base. And so moving into 2020, if I were his team, I'd be looking at those numbers. Are you, econo are you optimistic about the economic direction of the country? Well, do you yeah. feel better off? Those numbers I'd be concerned but about. But interestingly yeah. enough, when, when they were asked, do you feel better off now than a year ago, 71% said either they're the same or better. Yeah, so they, that would a, seem to speak in the president's favor. It's a bit of a mixed bag on that. People say that they are better off now economically than they were two years ago. That affects in, people individually and as families. They also say that they don't like the direction of the country by a pretty significant majority. Right. And right. those questions get into, is it the environment in the country, the, the lack of bipartisanship, the issues that, that we've had over the past week with yeah. race in this country. Mm -hmm. I mean, those things impact these responses as well. All right, I think you guys should come back so we can solve the next <laughs> problem that comes up because Dave's offered up a solution. Hey, Hey, I thought it was a good solution. <laughs> all right, Dave, Mark, and Katie, thank you all Thanks. very much. Thank Good you. to see you all. All right, breaking tonight.